Virtually every item we purchase comes in packaging, packaging that must be discarded. For years, society has relied on landfills for the disposal of these items, but today there is an alternative, recycling. Years ago in 1932 in Colerain Township, Ohio, not far from Cincinnati, brothers William and Bernard Rumpke managed a hog farm operation. The Rumpke brothers would collect garbage from area homes and businesses and then use it to feed their large hog stock. The Rumpkes quickly identified the necessity and value of recycling. Soon the family set up conveyor systems to remove reusable items from the waste stream. They collected metal, glass, and even rags for reuse. As the years went by, the Rumpke farm easily evolved into a flourishing municipal solid waste landfill and waste collection company. Although the business changed, the company's founder's tradition of recycling lived on, and in 1989, the Rumpke Recycling Division of Rumpke Consolidated Companies Incorporated was born. The new division made Rumpke one of the first major waste haulers in the United States to promote the concept of recycling. So important were their efforts that the founders of Rumpke were inducted into the Environmental Industry Association Hall of Fame, an honor Rumpke cherishes and continues to enthusiastically support today. Rumpke Recycling is still actively promoting the recycling effort by implementing state-of-the-art technology designed to increase participation in recycling and the efficiency of the process. At the same time, more manufacturers are joining the effort by discovering new ways to use recyclables as raw materials, and consumers are making a prominent difference by consciously demanding products made from these items. With landfills quickly reaching capacity and waste disposal costs gradually increasing, recycling will no longer be regarded as an option, but instead as a way of life. In nearly every community served by Rumpke, recycling is as easy as tossing recyclables into a bin and setting them curbside for pickup or placing items in recycling containers at apartment complexes or at community drop-off boxes. Currently, Rumpke Recycling accepts a variety of recyclables for which there is a demand by manufacturers who use the products as raw materials. Acceptable items vary from community to community, but typically include newspaper and other paper products, aluminum cans, steel cans, plastic bottles, and glass containers in which food and drinks are sold. In 2002, Rumpke Recycling was one of the first recycling companies to add single stream technology to its recycling centers. The technology allows consumers to mix all the materials together in their bins, making material preparation even easier. To recycle, place your newspapers, magazines, phone books, catalogs, junk mail, paper boards such as cereal boxes and other papers in your bin. You can also add cardboard broken down into three foot by three foot pieces. Before placing a steel can in your bin, rinse the can and place the lid inside. If possible, carefully collapse the top, not only to keep the lid safely inside, but also to conserve space in your recycling bin. Aluminum cans should be rinsed and placed in your recycling bin as well. In this instance, you may also want to collapse the cans to conserve additional space. To recycle a plastic or glass container, remove the cap and toss it into the trash. Then simply rinse out the item and put it in your recycling container. There's no need to remove labels since they disintegrate in the recycling process. After your recyclables are collected, Rumpke takes them to the Rumpke Recycling Material Recovery Facility serving your community. A material recovery facility, or MRF as it's called, is where materials are separated so recycling can begin. The process of separating the materials you collected begins with the truck dumping its load on what is called the tipping floor, named so because the trucks tilt upward to drop their contents. All the materials are mixed together at this point and must be separated. The sorting process begins when a front end loader pushes the material onto a conveyor. Watchful employees pull out cardboard items to be moved to another sorting station. Items which cannot be recycled and that could contaminate the recovered materials are also removed. The single stream machine's spinning discs, which are attached to a disc screener, remove paper products first. The paper is sent to its appropriate processing station where it is later separated according to type. A 
powerful electromagnet attracts steel cans and sends them down a recovery stream for shipping to a steel processor. Aluminum is not attracted by a magnetic force, but it can be propelled by an eddy current which is created by a powerful spinning magnet. The eddy current repels the aluminum and causes the cans to jump onto another conveyor for processing. Meanwhile, plastic bottles are removed according to their types. For example, number one plastics are primarily clear drinking containers and number two plastics are generally milk jugs and detergent containers. Plastics, bottles three to seven, can also be recycled. Although the single stream recycling process is more efficient, it often results in broken, mixed glass. To address this issue, the majority of glass is pre-screened at each Rumpke recycling location to remove large contaminants before the materials are shipped to our regional glass recycling facility in Dayton, Ohio for further processing. The other separated materials are compacted into bales according to type. With the sorting process complete, these 900 to 1200 pound bales of materials are actually nothing more than neatly sorted but untapped resources. When you deposited your recyclable item, you began a partnership with the manufacturers who are equally interested in conserving natural resources. That partnership between you and the manufacturer will save countless trees by extracting the pulp from recycled paper. In the case of these paper products, each will be recycled into a similar type of paper. Newspapers, for example, will likely be recycled into more newspaper stock. Steel cans are remelted for use in appliances or cars. In fact, two-thirds of Ohio's steel output is produced from recycled metal rather than from scratch using iron ore. Recycled aluminum cans are particularly important because they are made from a mineral called bauxite. Supplies of bauxite have been depleted in the state of Ohio, bringing attention to the importance of recycling. Recycled aluminum can be used for soft drink cans, gutters, or aluminum siding. Your recycling of plastics saves countless petroleum resources needed to produce plastics from scratch. Those water bottles or soft drink bottles could be the next insulation in a jacket or the carpeting being used in today's new construction. The truth is it takes 25% less energy to convert recycled number two plastics into materials used to construct planks for park benches or picnic tables. Finally, glass containers from drink or food products are processed into a material that is widely used by the fiberglass insulation industry and glass manufacturers. Everything you place in your bin is used to create a variety of useful products. At the same time, you are doing your part to conserve resources and landfill space. Rumpke Recycling is one of the nation's largest recyclers. We take pride in our commitment to conservation. It's a commitment that extends far beyond curbside and commercial recycling programs. Our company proudly participates in tire collection and cleanup efforts throughout our service region and beyond. Rumpke often uses the collected tires as protective landfill liners or as a component to create tire-derived fuel. Meanwhile, Rumpke's NPK compost farm recycles yard waste into useful soil amendment and landscaping mulch. At some of Rumpke's landfills, landfill gas recovery operations recycle the gas our garbage produces into useful natural gas or electric power. Our combined facilities can recover enough energy for nearly 30,000 homes and businesses making Rumpke's green energy operations some of the largest in the world. Recycling is a process that we can all be part of. If you are already recycling, thanks. If you're not recycling, think about it. There is a reason to recycle today for a better tomorrow.